Welcome to the front line on the Hua channel. I'm Eric Bruss, your host, Army Bass Angler Pro Staff. Today I want to take a second and get back down to the basics. Um, I put the boat in the water today and my intentions were to talk about uh, one of the products that Strike King puts out. Um, but I saw some, some people unloading a boat and I saw some of the practices were absolutely unsafe. And uh, so I want to talk about that just real quick. Uh, first off, make sure that you have the appropriate uh, safety devices on your vessel to pass an inspection and moreover to make sure that everybody on your vessel is safe. If you uh, have six people on your boat and your boat's not rated for six people, then that's a problem. If you have three or four people on the vessel but you only have, you know, two of the life preservers, um, that's a problem. Uh, if you haven't inspected your fire extinguisher and the fire extinguisher's expired or, or maybe um, you just can't get to it or you forgot where you put it, um, that's a problem. My suggestion is, you know, we, we put the boat on the trailer and we we're, we're put our seat belts on and we take all these other precautions to get to the water and then we get to the water and sometimes we forget about the little things. What I want to make sure that everyone does is, number one, you may be absolutely familiar with your vessel. And if you're a tournament angler, there's no doubt in my mind you are absolutely familiar with your vessel. But I am in a Skeeter boat. And Skeeters, as far as I'm concerned, are the Cadillacs of all vessels. And they have absolute abundance of storage. With the storage comes the challenge that if a stranger's on your boat and doesn't know where you store your safety equipment, they're not going to know where to find it in case of an emergency. So brief them on it. Tell them before you get in the boat, hey, here's where the life preservers are at. Make sure that they're easily accessible. Hey, in the case of a fire, I've got a fire extinguisher under the center console. You can, end, you can get in the center console below the steering wheel or on the front of the console. Explain it to them. Let them know those things. In case of an emergency, they're able to help you out. The other thing is, and I've made this mistake before, with all the storage on the boats, if you have a locking mechanism, when you're putting that boat in the water, make sure that you unlock all the storage. If, if uh, you know, there's a fire or something and, and the fire's on the center console or the fire's underneath the dash of your boat and the key's there and your fire extinguisher is secured in another location and you can't get to it, it's not going to help you at all, okay? Um, Look, I want you to catch, you know, big fish. I want you to have tight lines. I want you to press the attack, as always. I want to make sure that you do it safely. Uh, safety is the priority, uh, especially when you're out for a casual day of fishing or boating and you've got uh, children or family and friends who may not be familiar with your vessel. They may be an absolute novice when it comes to boating. Make sure that their experience is as great as yours is and that only happens if they make it home safe. All right, until next time, as always on the front line, press the attack.